Hello my Yatista Facebook friends. So last week or a couple of weeks ago I went through again uh, some of the haul configurations that you're going to look at while shopping for a boat. And today I'm going to go through some of the ways uh, that you can find a boat. In fact the perf my preferred way of finding that perfect boat. And uh, someday I'll get a lens that uh, I don't have to hold my arms so far out. So stay tuned. We'll go through the perfect way of finding your perfect boat. We are Matt and Monique, parents to five beautiful daughters and one dashing son. With five of our parental responsibilities out of the house, we made a life-altering decision to sell everything and set out on a journey of a lifetime with our youngest daughter and her dog, Gita. Our journey would take us from Sacramento to San Francisco, then to Mexico. From Mexico, we would continue on to Panama, through the canal, and then to Florida to begin America's Great Loop. We began this journey on January of 2022, but with several hiccups and delays, we only made it to Ensenada, Mexico. We anticipated beginning the 2022 Mexican cruising season on December 10th, but on November 26th, a serious infection would derail our plans with a month of hospitalization and six months of medical treatment. Our journey will have to wait until the 2023 cruising season. Until then, we will share our knowledge and experiences and show how we will continue to improve our skills, the condition of the boat, and how we provision for the longest journey we have ever made. And Monique has reminded me in between bites that I should remind you if you haven't seen that video about the bottoms of boats and the configurations that are important, you can get it right here or maybe over here. I don't know where they put it, but watch them both and you'll understand what we're talking about throughout this probably short video. All right, everybody, let's get started. So we're going to use the internet and to find this website, Obviously, you want to use Google. I get. I use Google. So uh, do a search. It is called Yacht World. And then you want to do Advanced Search. USA. Eh, you don't have to do USA. And then it comes up first thing. Now, when the website comes up, it gives you a couple of uh, different boats here, down below. Uh, probably these are not the boats that you're going to be looking for. Uh, so what we do is we apply filters, which we're going to do over here in the left corner of this website. I'll expand it a little bit. So in the filters, uh, we're going to give parameters of the type of boats that we're looking for. And we can't get exactly what we want, but we can get pretty close. Uh, I think most of us, at least those people watching this video, we want a used boat. You can determine the length or range of length. I would certainly suggest a range of uh, uh, length that you're looking for. If you want a, a comfortable cruiser, my suggestion is anything from 40 to uh, 40 to 45 feet. Let's see. Let's see what what's uh, between 40 and 45 feet. Um, if we know what the uh, year is, we want to include that. How old a boat do you do you think you're going to want? So uh, let's say we want a boat uh, between uh, 1999 and 2015. So we just include that here. And as you can see, this stupid website has to think. So let it think before you tab over. What did I say? 2015. And there we go. Do you have a price range that you're interested in? Say you want uh, 250000 uh, to, what, uh, oh, I said two hundred fifty five. yeah, to 300000 um, let me, I'll change this to two fifty. So 250 to 300000 that's a $50,000 uh, difference there. 
Now here comes the, the, the important stuff. Look at this. We only have 301 power boats that meet this specific criteria. And this is pretty tight criteria to be looking for a boat. But let's assume that you have a really good idea of what you want. So uh, if you, you hit power, we're going to get an additional filter under power. And this is going to give you the, the models or the type of power boat that, that uh, you can choose from. Here uh, we have an aft cabin, which would be like the uh, Hatteras. Um, or Tollycraft Tri-Cabin. Um, both are very, very comfortable boats. Then you have something called cruisers. And <laughs> cruisers could be anything. Uh, they've got center consoles here. There's eight center consoles, as you can see. I don't know, that seems like an awful lot of center consoles that are over 40 feet. So let's look at the Express Cruisers. And if, uh, if we're looking at Express Cruisers, we might as well uh, look at what other boats are out there that are like the the sports cruiser is like that and um, the crabbing uh, do, 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 do. we don't have a crabbing um, so that's it that's all of them and so if we continued on we could actually choose the make for example um, as you get more into your search of finding your boat you're going to know what makes uh that you're really into and you can actually put in the makes that you're you you want for example here we have a, uh we have 13 sea rays 10 tierras uh, got a couple of monterey's here's beneteau that'll be fun to look at uh, obviously we have to look at the sea rays um or we can just uncheck the, them all and check all of them what a Let's see, we've got all some models, and this could even be further down. So, uh, the C Ray models uh, that are available uh, 42 Sundancer, 44 Sundancer, 42 Sudan Bridge. Um, so, since we checked C Rays, it's going to give us models that we can choose from, and then the regions. The regions are um, a little bit misleading. So, well, here because we hit. USA we only get North America so we're gonna leave that well actually let's take a look because I think we can even get further down the line um, so we got one in Mexico two in Canada let's see we're interested only in the United States and in the United States we can actually go down even further to what area of the United States or even what state of the United States we're interested in and we're not going to do that because as far as I'm concerned uh, any boat that's in the United States we can get to where you want to be then the last filter is advanced filters but this is just the beginning hall material here typically you'll have fiberglass aluminum wood steel ferro cement uh, obviously all of these boats are fiberglass so we don't have to worry about it fuel Look at this, we have only seven diesels. Um, and if you're gonna spend $300,000 for a boat, it should be diesels. Engines, this will tell you whether or not you want one or two engines, um, I don't care at this point. And how old the boat, or how long the boat has been on Yacht World. So with all those chosen, let's apply them and see what we get. So here's your Sea Ray for $258 in San Diego. Um, give me a commission and I will go check that boat out for you. That's not too far from Ensenada. Then Florida, and in Florida, Missouri. Here's Fort Lauderdale, very nice boat. So lots of Sea Rays for sale. In fact, these are, oh, I must have hit the Sea Rays. So if I wanna look at what I've done, I can go back and yep sea rays there so let me go back and take sea ray out i'll just uncheck it and then apply these filters and we'll have some more there we go here's a 43 silver tin meridian or bay liner and some more sea rays newport beach has a tiara yacht very nice um Here's your uh, Down Easter. Uh, I guess they've got it under um, 
Express Cruisers. So, and I love these. So, you find a boat that, that, that you're interested in, click on it. Hell, they've dropped the price by 5000 This is a deal. Blue Hall, pretty, pretty boat. And you can go through here. This one has a, a video that you can watch. Uh, two videos. Look at that. So, here's where you get the idea of what the boat actually looks like and whether or not this is something you'd be comfortable in. Uh, it planes, so it's a pretty fast boat. Um, it's got wood, so there's some maintenance involved. Anyways, we can drop down and get the specifics. So here we are. This is where we get into the nitty-gritty of the, of the uh, description of the boat. This is what they call the basics. It's a 2005 Revolta. I don't know what a Revolta is, but it's sure pretty. Oh, there it is, down east. So this is a down east. Um, I don't know what classification we hit to uh, to bring it up. Um, it's obviously diesel. Um, it does up. Oh, oh, here you go. Hall shape. It's a modified V. Obviously fiberglass. Then we can get into even more information with the description. In the description, oh, but then you have to go through this stuff. So just get out of there. Um, sometimes the descriptions are really good, and sometimes they're very, very short. Uh, and I don't. Uh, I suggest you look at the ones that are a little bit longer. Look, this guy even includes information about yacht loans. But keep going down because there's additional information that's important. I typically go down to the propulsion. What type of engines does this boat have? This one has, oh God, this is a cool boat. This has got uh, Yanmar diesels. Um, I'm not a, a Yanmar person, so I don't know that much about them, but it has the, the model number here, uh, 6LY2A-STP. So I'm gonna take a copy of that. Um, now, here's the, here's the issue that I have with some of these things. Um, it says that it is a jet drive, which is as cool as you can get. But then, down here, it says it's a three-bladed prop. It, it's contradictory. So half the time, these brokers don't know what they're doing. Uh, secret, pro-secret. I saw a picture up here. Um, I don't know. That, that could be a jet drive. I don't know. Usually there's more of a spout, but uh, I'd have to be in the in the transom or the the cockpit of the boat to, to see that. It's awful low in the water. Um, so it's got uh, low hours at uh, 1401 and 1375. So that boat has a lot of life ahead of it. As you can hear, my wife has just entered the building. So you get you get additional information. This information is very important. Ooh, I don't want to look at that. Um, but what about these engines? I don't know much about them. So let's let's open up another window. Go to Google. Hit the right uh, button on your mouse and click paste. Enter. And here is where we can get all of the information on these engines. Are they any good? Um, what are what are people's opinions and I would never buy a boat like this without actually knowing what the engines are it's uh, it, it's the most important part of the boat it can be the most expensive and um, you uh, you've got to expect that eventually you're gonna to have to rebuild them can it be rebuilt or do you have to take the engines out of the boat if you have to take the engines out of the boat well, that's about $100,000 right there. So you want to avoid an engine that has to be removed and then uh, taken to a machine shop. I don't know about this one. So, But that's how you would look for a boat on uh, Yacht World. Bonus stuff is oftentimes the broker will, and they have here, give you additional in, uh, information regarding the boat and perhaps even the company that uh, built the boat. Look, right here it is. Designed and built by Revolta Yachts in Sarasota, Florida in 2005. So that tells me one important thing. It's an American built boat and American built boats are the highest quality boats out there. Um, probably semi-custom, if not custom. This is 
uh, a high quality boat from what I can see here. What other information? Oh, that is other information. What, what, shoot. And they go, oh, look at this. It actually gives you the, uh, the other um, stuff that is in here. That the, um, what do you call this stuff? The upgrades. <laughs> Got new electronics by Simrad. Wow, 2021, and this boat's a 2005? Yeah, so if you're going to keep your electronics up that much, this boat's well maintained. And you can go through all of this stuff. Uh, you got fire suppression from 1222, new bottom paint. If I'm searching for a boat of this style, this is definitely one that I will put on my list to see, or at least call. And then here are your, your uh, checks of all of the specific things that uh, the broker wants you to know that it has. So that is how to use uh, Yacht World in searching for your boat. And all of these have the yacht, yachty, the yacht broker's number secret here. If you find a boat that you want to look at and you have a buyer's broker, have your broker contact the selling broker because it will protect the commissions going back and forth. Unfortunately, there are brokers out there who won't work with a broker, a seller, a buyer's broker. They want the full commission for themselves. They don't want to share the commission. Stay away from those brokers. They're, I think they're crooks. They're hiding stuff. Um, it's it's ridiculous. So uh, look for or, or get yourself a uh, buyer's broker that you trust that will go out of his way or her way to contact these selling brokers, have a discussion, and then arrange for an in-person or even an online uh, inspection of the boat. All right. So that's finding the boat of your dreams. Um, next time, we'll actually go through some of the steps of buying the boat of your dreams. What are the steps that you need to go through in order to buy that dream boat? And whether or not you want to do an offshore delivery. Well, what is an offshore delivery? We'll go through that next time. Until then, this is Matt on 5 to 1 reminding you, keep your boat afloat and have a good time. Cheers. It's really hard to, to film when you're talking to me. So <laughs> we're gonna film you. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> <laughs>